Pete Gustus here with Small Business Resource Center. Here is a guide to the 40 greatest sales, marketing, and e-com books that I put together. Um, this is a group of professionals, industry experts that help self-employed people, influencers, small business owners, uh, somebody interested in e-com succeed. And these are all books by professionals. There's also actually 41. I have one bonus book, and that's a book, the first sales book that I actually read that I feel helped me a lot in my sales career as an auto salesperson, and then eventually transitioning into real estate. So what I'm going to do is go over this list. I'm going to try to be quick. First book, The Greatest Salesman by Og Mandino. This is told as a story, but it's a guide for sales success, and it helps you find your why. Book number two, Psychology of Selling by Brian Tracy. It's a practical guide to increasing your sales. Uh, book number three, Often Wrong, Never in Doubt by Donnie Deutsch. This explains how confidence and attitude can help you move forward faster. Book number four is the book, The Art of the Deal with Donald Trump. This is actually Trump's first book. It teaches you how to structure a deal and a lot about attitude. Uh, definitely recommended. He's our president. Get the book. Uh, Spin Selling, book number five. Spin Selling by Neil Rackman. Uh, spin is situation, problem, implication, and need, which results in a payoff, you closing a sale. It's a record-breaking sales system to bring you to top performance. Sales book number six, Delivering Happiness by Tony Heise. Uh, Tony's story is he started as a pizza delivery person and then grew into the website Zappos, which sells shoes, and it shows how the culture of his company and what he did created that. Book number seven, To Sell as Human by Daniel H. Pink, a fresh approach to sales psychology to make people more receptive to your message. Book number eight, Sales Machine 10.0 by Jim, Jim Cockrum. It gives multiple business strategies, uh, what does work in online sales and what does not work in marketing. So it's a very good book. It's an all around book and it's newer. How to Win Friends and Influence People is number nine with Dale Carnegie. Getting better sales and how to work with various personalities. It's a very good book and it's a staple for anybody. Number 10, Way of the Wolf by Jordan Belfort. I mean, I don't think anyone can dispute that he actually has created a record sales system. Unfortunately, he let greed get in the way of profit and um, it caused him some financial difficulties, but you can still learn amazing things with his straight line sales system, which you can learn in The Way of the Wolf. Book 11, The Four. It's uh, The Hidden DNA Behind Amazon, Apple, Facebook, and Google by Scott Galloway. It's the four largest companies and what they did to become successful. Book number 12, um, Psycho Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz. Um, this talks about self-image, how you have to behave, and tapping into your uh, subconscious to improve your performance. He actually has done a lot of different things and noticed that people's Inner subconscious actually is what creates their outer world. It's a very good book. New Sales Simplified by Mike Weinberg, number 13. It's prospecting and proactive sales and teams, and they go into a lot of new strategies to increase sales. Number 14, The Secret of Closing the Sale by Zig Ziglar. It's a positive response to closing sales. Uh, Zig Ziglar, of course, is a great sales trainer. Definitely recommended book. Number 15, Pitch Anything by Oren Klav. This basically is a blueprint for pitching anything to try to close the sale or achieve whatever goal you're looking for. Number 16, by Grant Cardone, Seller Be Sold. Grant Cardone actually has a lot of different sales systems. He also has great sales training. I took his advanced training courses and completed the advanced sales certification. So he has that too. He has a number of books, but this is the one that made the list. Uh, number 17, The Everything Store by Brad Stone. This is basically about 
Jeff Bezos and Amazon and how they got started. It's another great book. Number 18, David and Goliath by Maxim Gladwell. This shows how if you're a small business or a startup, what you can do to compete with larger businesses and what you can do differently to make yourself stand out. Number 19, The Challenger Sale by Matthew Dixon and Brett Adamson. Um, this is taking control of customer conversations, a lot of B2B strategies and sales and how being an advisor and providing solutions can help you get more sales. Number 20, The Ultimate Sales Machine by Chet Holmes. This is an entertaining way to increase and improve sales by focusing on 12 key strategies. Number 21, Exactly What to Say by Philip M. Jones. The only thing separating people and increasing sales is knowing exactly what to say, when to say it, and doing everything at the right time. This book explains those strategies. Number 22, The Little Red Book of Selling by Jeffrey Getmer. 12.5 Principles of Selling. This book answers questions about sales in short responses. So if you don't like long reads, this could be a good book for you. Number 23, Expert Secrets by Russell Brunson, who created ClickFunnels. This is a sales and online marketing book. He actually has a couple different books, but this one is good. Also, if you have any comments about any of the books that I've mentioned, feel free to comment below. If you think I should add something or you don't like one of them, let me know your thoughts. Kind of curious to what you have to say. <laughs> uh, Fanatical Prospecting by Jeb Blout. Learn innovative approaches to prospecting on various social media platforms. Great book. Number 25, Contagious, Jonah Berg. This is getting people to share your products or services and getting things to go. I don't want to say viral, but maybe he wants to use that word, but getting engagement to, to basically build results. Number 26, Zero to One by Peter Thiel. What startups need to do to win and uh, create business fast. Launch by Jeff Walker. How to launch a product. This basically is a guide to doing that. The 4-Hour Work Week by Timothy Ferris. A lot of people have heard of this. This is how to be more productive online by automating and time blocking, outsourcing, and using batch events, time blocking. Then number 29, Gary Vaynerchuk, Crush It. He actually has two books that I'm going to recommend here. Uh, one is Growing Your Online Presence and Monetizing Your Online Followers. And then he has Crushing It instead of Crush It. And that's How to Build a Business and Influence People. So there are two books right there for 29. Uh, 30, so actually there's 42 books, excuse me. And then there's 8020 Sales and Marketing by Perry Marshall. This is number 30, How to Optimize Your Time and Make More Money by Working Less, Working Smarter, Not Harder. Uh, 31, The Lean Start by Eric Reese, coming up with one product and making it work fast. So he's basically saying you should focus on one thing, make that successful and then grow rather than being very generalized or doing too many things at one time. 32, Good to Great by Jim Collins, how to improve from a good company to a great, highly profitable and successful company. So if you're already in business and uh, want strategies on how to do better, Good to Great is probably the book for you. <laughs> Number 33, Don't Make Me Think by Stephen Krug. This goes over what a lot of people call the grandma test. It says your com customers don't need to think to buy. If you make things complex or you don't explain everything, if it's not simple, they won't buy. So it's a great book there. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, number 34, using blinding faith and looking for opportunities. That's basically what this is all about because sometimes a lot of people, they keep looking and doing various things instead of realizing that there's opportunities right in front of them where they can be successful and do very well. Also, 35, The E-Myth Book, Why Most Small Businesses Don't Work and How to Fix It by Michael Gerber. This is a great book. It's a good read if you're thinking about starting up. It, gives you, it will give you a lot of ideas. 36 would be Primal Branding by Patrick Halon. Who, who's your customer? Who's not your customer? And what kind of branding um, that you need for yourself to get them 
you know, attracted to you. That's a great book for that type of thing. If you need branding help. 37 would be Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller. This basically goes into story selling, which uh, is a great way to sell. A lot of times when you're explaining things in a story, people become more engaged and they understand it better rather than you just telling them. So it's a great book. 38, made it on the list a second time, Gary Vaynerchuk with Jab, Jab, Right Hook. Basically, social media tells you give great content, uh, provide a lot of information, and then ask for the sale. Uh, once again, using that strategy, go to smallbusinessresourcecenter.com, check it out. We have a lot of information. The smallbusinessresourcecenter.com, like Netflix for small businesses, has things you can use like website templates, a lot of great information that you can use, audio files, graphics files. So if you're trying to build a website, social media presence, we have a lot of things there, smallbusinessresourcecenter.com. There'll be a link in the description. But this book explains a similar strategy that I'm using right now. Provide content, ask for the sale, or check out my website. Let me know what you think because we're here to help. And number 39, Trust Me, I'm Lying by Ryan Holiday. This is a great book. It actually goes on to how stories, blogs, and newspapers work. It also goes into the sad part of media manipulation and explains how a lot of the media sources are biased and for sale. That's why if you only look at one source, people tend to have very leftist or rightist views because most media sources are being paid by certain people to broadcast a message, not necessarily tell the truth. So that's one thing to keep in mind. It's a great read uh, for anybody. Actually, even if you're not in sales, I would recommend Trust Me, I'm Lying. It's a great book. Number 40, Essentialism by Greg McKeon. This is the pursuit of less by doing more and not being overloaded. You know, this basically tells you to try to outsource stuff and get some things done because of course, if you have too much work and you try to do everything, can make things difficult. Essentialism is a very good work, doing the things that are important. And the bonus book. The bonus book is Low Profile Selling, Act Like a Lamb, Sell Like a Lion. And this is with uh, Tom Hopkins. This is actually the very first book I read about sales, well, that I can remember reading. Uh, when I got into auto sales and I started, actually Tom Hopkins came around, he had a sales course. It actually was for real estate agents, but uh, an older general manager, he actually said that this was a good sales trainer. And he said, hey, we recommend you go to this, even though it's in real estate. And by purchasing his book, going to the training, I learned some of the principles that Tom had. Tom Hopkins was a real estate agent in the time when there was no internet or anything. And he basically, I don't know if he created it himself, I don't remember exactly, but he basically created a way where he felt he increased his sales drastically and low profiling selling was that basically. A uh, very good sales strategy from a national salesperson, I would highly recommend it. If you have any other questions, comment below. Let me know what you think about the book list. If you think I should have added something, put it down there. Let me know your thoughts. If you need business help, comment below. Tell me what kind of videos that you need for business or what you need to know about. I'll try to make a video about it. And also go to smallbusinessresourcecenter.com, check out the site, see what we have to offer. Like and subscribe, share the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.